to the United States now, and President Biden has vowed to hold responsible those who killed three U.S. soldiers in Jordan. Here's the Defence Secretary, Lloyd Austin. He was speaking in the early hours of this morning. Uh, let me start with my outrage and sorrow for the death of three brave U.S. troops in Jordan and for the other troops who were wounded. The President and I will not tolerate attack on U.S. forces and we will take all necessary actions to defend the U.S. and our troops. Let's bring in Sky's U.S. analyst, Michael Ware. Michael, great to see you. All necessary actions, Lloyd Austin says. What will that see the U.S. do in response? Well, Mike, that is a fantastic question. U.S. Central Command, which is in control of the Middle East, is yet to answer it, but I recently spoke to a retired general who commanded that region. He's advocating a two or three week obliteration, an air campaign of all Iranian backed proxy militia elements throughout the region from Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Iraq Yemen, just start pummeling them. And then let's see what Iran does. Because at the end of the day, no one's willing to actually attack Iranian soil. That would mm. change this game in a way none of us can imagine. But a deterrence needs to be established. And despite all the attacks that the Americans have launched, on the Houthis in Yemen who are attacking the shipping. For every strike on every US base, there's a counter strike on an Iranian backed militia group in Iran, in Iraq or Syria. Um, yeah. It hasn't been enough. Some are well, arguing and, and, yeah. that there needs to be an obliterating campaign. And you touched on a couple of those proxies. We talk about Iranian. Proxies, But when we do that, we talk about, uh, we're thinking Hezbollah, the Houthi rebels in Yemen, Hamas in Gaza. In Syria, they've got their own representatives as well, who you would think were responsible for this particular uh, attack on a US post. So they, they've, got, they've got fingers everywhere, don't they, across that region. That's the problem with Iranian influence. Well, I've got to tell you, that's the brilliance of Iranian influence. I mean, I, I was in Iraq for 10 years. I was in Afghanistan for two years before that. This is the way Iran projects power throughout the region. Iran is very, very good at sending its special forces to different regions and building up militias or paramilitaries or even army to oppose US and Israeli interests. They're simply brilliant at it. And yeah. they now call it their axis of resistance. Essentially, the, the Iranians in Tehran, they see this as their buffer zone between them and Israel, between them and the United States. And they have armed these groups. They have protected them politically. They have protected them diplomatically. And they have made this axis of resistance so powerful that we're now yeah. seeing it flex its muscle. Indeed. And you look at that, just if you think of Hezbollah, uh, close to, I think it was from memory, over 150,000 missiles alone that Hezbollah has. So when you look at that versus Hamas, it's an entirely different equation when you look at some of these other entities. Mate, that's a great distinction because I have to tell you, if I was in US Central Command right now, I would be preparing a bombing campaign against everybody except Hezbollah. Because Hezbollah is essentially an army. Now, for decades, Lebanon has outsourced its southern defence against Israel 
to this paramilitary organisation, Hezbollah. Yeah. And as you say, at least 150,000 missiles. You think Hamas is organised? Why do you see Hezbollah? I was with Hezbollah in 2006 when Israel invaded to retrieve a couple of its troops. And I'm telling you, Hezbollah's capabilities make Hamas look like right. kindergartners. But that does not mean that the West cannot pummel everybody else. And at the same time, yeah. as we speak, the Iraqi government, since we invaded in 03, which has been owned by Iran, is really pushing to get all the remaining troops out of Iraq. So this axis of resistance really does have some muscle. Skies US analyst Michael Ware, great to chat as always. Thank you.